Welcome to Wake Up Wednesdays. This past week, we celebrated International Women and Girls HIV Awareness Day. Women and people with HIV are a part of the population living with underlying conditions. So it is very likely that you're eligible to get the COVID-19 vaccine right now or will be soon. Make sure to contact your local health department for more specific information. When it comes to vaccine rollout, don't forget that each state has a different plan for getting folks vaccinated. There is a difference between supply, which means the state has enough vaccines in stock to vaccinate you, and eligibility, which is when you will actually be able to get vaccinated. As promised, this week's focus will be specific to women and how COVID-19 may be impacting us. Why is COVID-19 disproportionately impacting women? Economic crises hit women harder, and this is why. Women tend to earn less, women have fewer savings, women are disproportionately more in the informal economy, women have less access to social protections, women are also more likely to be burdened with unpaid care and domestic work, and therefore have to drop out of the labor force. Women make up the majority of single parent households. What can I do if I'm experiencing emotional or physical abuse at home during the pandemic? With quarantine, there has been an increase in at-home violence, particularly against women. Domestic violence is all about power and control, and in an isolated environment, control is more easily exerted by abusers. Please know that you are not alone and help is available. Thehotline.org offers free confidential help 24-7. You can reach them at 1-800-799-SAFE. You also have the option to conduct a 9-11 silent call, which means you press the button on the side of your phone five times and you can access emergency services. Is it safe for me to get vaccinated if I am pregnant? The CDC, the American College of OBs and Gynecologists, and the Society for Maternal and Fetal Medicine all agree that the vaccine should be offered to pregnant women and women who are nursing, specifically the ones who are eligible for the vaccine. This is a matter of weighing the pros and the risks. What we know is that pregnant women are at high risk of developing severe disease if they get COVID. We know that women who have had COVID during their pregnancies have had an increased risk of adverse pregnancy outcomes, such as preterm birth. Also, there is no current data showing birth defects or issues due to COVID-19 vaccines. Vaccines not only protect you, but they also protect your little one. The antibodies that you create as a result of a vaccination teaches your baby's body to be able to fight off the same viruses. What can I do to relieve some of the overwhelming stress caused by juggling responsibilities during the COVID-19 pandemic? Many women are facing increased unpaid care work whether it's with our kids or the elders we may care for in our homes. The CDC reports that two out of every three caregivers in the United States are women, meaning they provide daily or regular support to children, adults, or people with chronic illnesses or disabilities. This puts women at a higher risk for poor physical and mental health, including depression and anxiety. Here are some tips to help you manage caring for yourself and others. Maintain healthy behaviors. Take steps to protect yourself and others against COVID-19. Take deep breaths, stretch, or meditate. Eat foods that are safe and healthy. Drink lots of water to stay hydrated. Exercise regularly. Get plenty of sleep. And finally, avoid excessive alcohol and substance use. Tips for managing stress. Take breaks from watching, listening, or reading news stories or social media postings about COVID-19. Take time to unwind, take a walk or do an activity you enjoy. Connect with others, talk with people you trust about your concerns and how you are feeling. Find other ways to cope with stress during the COVID-19 pandemic. As a mother of a beautifully wild one-year-old, I have found myself experiencing new levels of stress during this pandemic. I have learned the hard way that it's okay to ask for help. Sometimes it truly does take a village. If there are people in your life that you can call on to support, I encourage you to do so. Thanks for waking up with me this Wednesday morning. I hope these tips were useful to you and the women in your circles. Don't forget to leave your questions in the comments and follow us on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter at Black AIDS. I'll catch you next week.